the Pose of Gloves here, and this is another video in the DSP Basic Series, and I'm just going to talk about what DSP is because I haven't done that yet, and it's kind of important. DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing, and it is the idea of taking a digital signal, so the difference between an analog signal, so let's say out in the real world, you've got a signal, like a car roars by you and you hear this roaring sound, well, that would be a continuous waveform. And there would be no no discrete values. And then as I've talked about in the previous two videos, or I think I'm going to put this one in the front. So in the next videos, I talk about how it's actually just snippets. Digital systems take discrete values. So it'll take that waveform of our car roaring bias and take a, like 100 million pictures or whatever, 44,100 pictures a second on CD quality. And it will take that and it will reproduce it back to us. So that's how we get our car sound. If you don't understand that, don't worry. The next video is explain it. And, uh, but that's not all that DSP could do. So digital signal processing will take the data of our waveform of the car going past us and all the samples and we will combine it. And there's different ways we could take that data and do different things. For example, sometimes we get delay effects. Uh, for example, you're on the phone, you're calling someone really far away, you may have a delay effect on your phone. And by sending the exact opposite of the data that your phone is receiving for that delay, so I say hello, and then you hear hello, 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 like every time there's like an echo, and you don't want that echo. Well, you can get a phase inverted version of that echo. So when the amplitude's up here, you say put an amplitude down here or in math. When the numbers are here, subtract these numbers and boom, it's gone. And this is called digital signal processing. And it's used for a lot more than just audio. It's used for almost any kind of, well, any kind of recording. Like you're recording light uh, for your camera. So you're making a TV show and you're using cameras. And there's just all these different options. And DSP is great for that. Used for sonar, used for pretty much anything like DSP is really truly limitless but I'm going to be on this channel at least going more into the audio side of things but that's what digital signal processing it is is you take those samples those uh, bit rates and stuff which we'll talk about eventually and you interpolate the data in different ways and you use the data in different ways to get different results so whenever you're messing around with a plugin or such you are messing around with sample rates and a whole bunch of sample and hold units equalizers are built on this principle and when you move things and you change things around, you're telling it to do different things to that data that it originally had. It all starts with this data that you have those samples and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. And there are some really interesting plugins that take advantage of different kinds of this uh, option. For example, like a pitch hold plugin will say, let's say I want a plugin that will take the samples I have, play them back at a specific rate, but then at the when the user gives the command to take that pitch that I'm at and play it back at that pitch. So I'm singing a song. This is how uh, Infected Mushroom, there's a plugin that actually does this. It's called Pitch Freezing. And Infected Mushroom uses it quite a bit in his tracks where you're going along and then he'll hold out the pitch in specific parts. And that's all DSP. It's uh, taking those samples and playing them back at a di in a different way to create that uh, hold effect. And so that's just what DSP is in a nutshell. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and have a blessed day.